a special visitor here from um, the Howard Stern Show. That's right. That's right. Eric, how are you? Um, that's why I'm so excited tonight, I'll be honest with you. Why not? I'll figure it out. And we were hoping to fly to San Francisco. We have family there. Ooh. My older brother. Oh, well, have you ever flown before, Eric? No, this is my first time. Oh, well, let's see what we can do for Come you. In. You that reporter I called? Reporter? I'm Beth's sister now. Who are you? I'm her landlord. I'm gonna shame that crazy bitch on YouTube. Keys, woman. Your mama didn't teach you any manners? My mama's dead, happy. Beth? I don't wanna see any reporters when I come out, got it? Crap, don't let the bunnies out. Hey. Who's gonna get her crap out of that apartment? Jeez, I don't know what Beth's whining about. He seems sweet. I'm goddamn serious. Aw, oh, adorable. <laughs> strippers, a little person, and a mobster. Or as we like to call it, Valentine's Day in Hollywood. Um, yeah, Eric the Midget is on the Howard Stern Show. He's like a, a character that's always on. Yeah, Eric's part of Howard's infamous whack pack, and he and his mafia manager, Johnny Prado, hit up the old Viper Room for something. I guess it was like a, it was kind of like a spin off of like, cause Howard's doing America's Got Talent. They did like Eric's Got Talent. He's getting like this double lap dance from these girls and he's just sitting there with the biggest smile on his face. Well, looks more like confusion and fear, but nonetheless, we got Eric outside and we wanted to know if- hey, Get in there, Eric. Oh, it's you, dear. Well, we were gonna talk to Eric, but uh- Did I give you the lap dance of the lifetime? Johnny, translate. Eric had a good time. That's that's. I all think, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell him, Eric. Tell him. Aw, that's cute. Look, she's cuddling with him, kissing his little face, and whoa, okay, that's uh, that's terrific. And what's your name? I'm Emily Addison. I'm Penthouse Pet of the Year runner-up for 2012. How come Penthouse Pets are so much more fun than like Playboy Playmates? We like to get down and dirty. We love our sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. Okay, what the hell just happened? Hello. Hi. What's this? It's, um, uh, it's a box. Well, what's in it? Oh, as with most things in life, the reality would pale in comparison with one's imagination. And, uh, isn't it better to wonder? I said, uh, would you mind keeping an eye on the box while I go to the restroom? Is there, you know, remuneration? Of course. Maybe a minute. Okay.
know what this is. It's a piece of the weapon. I recognize it from alternate blueprints. A weapon from the other side? How is that possible? Phone calls. A lot of people uh, want to uh, talk. Okay, here we go. Actually, I'm looking at the phone calls. I'm like, who the hell wants to talk to anybody? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's Eric. You're on the air. Hi. I'm calling because a couple of weeks ago you um, referred to Kelly Clark and as an unattractive, ugly white girl. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> she is anything but ugly and unattractive. Are Eric? you related to her? No, I'm not. Eric, how old are you? 27. What's wrong with you? There's something wrong, right? Well, I'm a disabled person. Yeah, okay. You're a guy? Yes. Yeah. Oh. I'm uh, only three foot five, three foot six. We got to get you down here. You're in love with Kelly Clarkson of American Idol? Yep. Maybe we can hook you two uh, kids up. If I can get her to come in here, maybe I can hook you up with her. <laughs> we don't, wouldn't mind that, that's for sure. What? Mm. Three foot five? What are you, a midget? Yeah. And what are you, ill or something? No. It's just, um, it's five o'clock in the morning here. Are you I shorter know. than Minnie Me? Um, no, I think he's around the two foot mark. Wow. Right. I'm always amazed at how little Minnie Me is. Yeah. If Minnie Me's two foot, you're three foot five? Three foot five. Three you foot tower six. over him. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere in between that. Do you work in a circus or on a show or something? No. Um, I'd like to get into show business, into acting, and into uh, singing and stuff like that. What do you do right now? Uh, actually, nothing. I'm living off SSI. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, well, Kelly Clarkson, uh, I actually said was the best one to win because she had the best voice, but she's got to lose about 15 pounds. Uh, they got to dress her better. She got big hips. The hairdo they gave her was very New Jersey with the with the black and white skunk stripes. Uh, she needs a, she needs some work. Yeah. Well, from what she said to Bob going on entertainment tonight, like the day after she won, she said that her natural hair. Co- I don't know if she was kidding, but she said her natural hair color was as blonde as Reese Witherspoon. I don't know about that, but whatever they dyed it, it looks bad, and uh, you got to go with me on that. I mean, it, it's not a good color. It's it's not human. There's no human hair that looks like that with <laughs> with a with like stripes. She's got she's got like like uh, pinstripes. <clears throat> she got racing stripes all over her head, equ- equidistant from one another. Whoever did that definitely, you know, was goofing on her. Uh. And you think she's hot, because how picky can you be? You're sitting in the room. When's the last time you got laid? Uh, never. Exactly. Oh, how old did he say you were? 20, how old are you? 27. Wow. This guy's never gotten laid. That's why you're pining away for her. Did you go out and buy her a single? Yeah. Oh, jeez. All you got to do, my friend, is get a little stank on your hang low. You'll forget <laughs> all about her. Yeah, you'll forget all about <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. You got pictures of her hanging on your wall? No, but on my computer I have some photos. What do you got? This one's off various websites that, you know, fans have made for her. Kelly Clarkson websites? When you're whacking it, do you think about Kelly Clarkson? No. Tell the truth. No. Have you ever... who do you think about? And don't tell me you're not whacking it. Oh, uh, um, see, how do I answer that? Yeah, with the truth. <laughs> you never think of Kelly Clarkson when you're whacking it? No. You never imagine like you run into her somewhere and she's like, you know, I was really into that midget on Wizard of Oz. You really <laughs> turned me on. And blah, 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 blah. One thing leads to another. Before you know it, you're banging her. No. I don't believe you. <laughs> see, you're not being straight with me. Yeah, I am. Who do you whack it to then? Pam Anderson? No, just other celebrity females. Give me your top three. Whack, whack material. 
Oh, let's see. Well, one off Seventh Heaven, Beverly Mitchell. Beverly Mitchell from Seventh Heaven. That's the top girl to whack it to? Well, one of them. No little people? No. What about Gary Coleman? Oh, please. No, don't go that way. <laughs> there you uh, go. Good for, good for you. All right, the chick from Seventh Heaven. Who else? Uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Brittany. Britney Spears? What's the scenario? I don't know. Like, how do you make believe you meet her? Like, what do you do? Like, you're at a party or something? Yeah, out somewhere. And you meet her, and then what happens? You sneak a ladder into her bedroom? <laughs> no. What do you do? Climb up to her ass. Tell me what happens. I don't really remember. How do you start, like, getting her in a room and kissing her? There's got to be, oh, when guys do it, there's got to be some sort of thread of a story. Not anything I could think of. Uh, oh, you you're see. just not coming clean with us. Yeah. Who's your, who's your third favorite to whack it to? Britney Spears, the chick from Seventh Heaven. Who you got in there? Leslie Stahl? Who else? You got to get somebody who's realistic. <laughs> realistic. You're not going to get Britney Spears. <laughs> You're not going to get the chick on Seventh Heaven. <laughs> so Leslie Stahl's a good bet? Leslie Stahl, you could probably bang. <laughs> I'm just trying to help the guy. <laughs> Kelly oh. Clarkson is probably a good one. You probably could get her. <laughs> you need a chick you could sneak up on. <laughs> See, I wonder if I was a midget, would I fantasize about other midgets? No. Well, I got to get realistic. Yeah, but really, you have to be yeah, realistic. Yeah, because you're not going to bang full size chicks. There's very well, few midgets who can pull that off. Come on, this kid doesn't have when, a rap. Before you ever had sex with anybody, you were doing mm. it to the girls of Gilligan's Island. Yeah, that's true. But I was also more more times than not doing it to chicks in my school or chicks really? in college. Yeah, okay. chicks I met during the day. All right, I did not know that. Mm. But this kid's got a hard on for Kelly Clarkson. He's not going to get her. <laughs> well, I'm so happy that that stupid song has not become a huge hit. Yeah, thank God this country isn't buying into that. It's a bad song. Being obsessed with Kelly Clarkson is just going to lead to a horrible spiral into depression. <laughs> what, uh, you got the single? Yeah. Sing it for me. I don't, re I don't have it. Never. You know the words. You know no. the chorus, at least. How many times have you listened to it? A couple. I can't. I can't. Come on. I can't sing it. Come on, Eric. I can't. Eric the Midget, he wants Kelly Clarkson. For starters, it's not my singing style. Oh, what do you sing? I country. But country. I'll Sing me a country song. I got to hear you sing. <laughs> I'm bad a cappella. Trust me. Oh, dear. Come on. <laughs> Something tells me you're not Garth Brooks with instruments. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, you've defended uh, Kelly Clarkson's honor. She does need a little work, you know, if she's going to be in show business. Uh, you're right, though. She's an attractive girl. She's not unattractive. I'll go along with you there. She's cute. She's a cute girl. Yeah. All right, brother. Or oh, uh, also wanted to know, did ben Benji ever go out with um, Anna Nicole? Benji, uh, no, he got stood he up. He struck out. As usual, he stayed. He went over to a hotel where she agreed to go out with him. She didn't show up for like an hour, and then he left. Mm. She wouldn't even meet with him. She, she was right upstairs. Up. Yeah. All right, thanks. Uh, bye. All right, Eric. That's Eric the Midge. Hey, Eric. Huh? I'm gonna give you five hundred bucks. Okay. Um, so I give you my address. You could yeah. be a little more excited about it. I, I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> this won't mess up your benefits, will it? <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, don't declare this. <laughs> we don't want to kick you up into a higher bracket. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right. Enough with that guy. Wow. He was depressing me. Depressed Thank little you. person. Yeah. I'm a little person, but I want <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. People say I'm small, but I have a big heart. <laughs> Midget should always be midget should always be cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try harder. <laughs> you know, you can't get into show business being a midget, a miserable midget. <laughs> Hello, I'm your miserable midget. I'm a miserable midget. Hire me. <laughs> Big deal. I can't reach the elevator button. <laughs> Eric the midget, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, by the way, I received a note yesterday from Jimmy Kimmel with regard to Eric the midget. 
And Jimmy begs me on the real doll decision. He says, you've got to make Eric the Midget real doll. You have to. He says, I'm begging you. He says, don't make me beg. He says, I wouldn't do anything. Would he come in he says, and have sex it. It, but with it? Would Jimmy have sex yeah. with it? <laughs> now, I don't know. Then let's put it on the line. How much does he want the Eric real doll? He's not going to show his penis, I don't think. <laughs> I think he's kind of hung like me. I get that vibe. Well, I know. His takes a strange turn, doesn't it, or something? Yeah. Well, he has like a weird hole in yeah. his penis that he had to have it operate. Like a on. whale. It spouts out the top. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, do you mind if we make a real doll? I mean, not that you have a choice, but we might make a real doll out of you. That's not going to happen. Anymore. Oh, no. It we could, could, it, you don't have anything to do with you it. You know what? We can get all his favorite hats and, yeah, dress and him. swap them Ooh. out as he's getting fucked by somebody. He can have that San Francisco hat, that Oakland A's hat. Yeah, we're going to do that it. that product hat that he wears I'm, when he's on there trying to push something. Jimmy wants it, and it seems like a good idea. Oh, yeah, the 49ers hat. He, that would look really good. Will it have that little scruff under his chin? Yeah, it'll look exactly like Eric. <laughs> will Everything. Have, will it have the blotch? It'll have everything that you see on him. Oh. <laughs> I'll get a little wheelchair. And, and some glasses. Yeah, the crooked glasses. And I can get a wheelchair for him. Yeah. Uh, that's the perfect thing for the real dog. And we can put that on Cam. But what are we going to do with him? Is like Richard going to have sex with him? Yes. Why not? Yeah. What do you think of that, Eric? As I'm trying to say, if you do it, you're going to face some fucking legal problems. Cause what I'm legal not problems? I'm going to allow you to do that. I'll go to court with you over that. You imagine the judge on that one? <laughs> we'll bring Eric in, the, stop in you? the wheelchair. Okay, so you, can make, you can make a real doll out of anyone you want. Yeah, He's a what? public figure. Yeah. It doesn't even matter if it's a public figure. We're making a real doll, right. and we're putting his face on it. Plus, exactly. I'd love to go to court and tell a judge that, you know, <laughs> like bringing the real doll with Eric sitting there. Yeah, wheel it in. Yeah, Eric, we're not fucking you against your will. Right. Yeah. We're fucking a doll. We're fucking a doll, and we're calling it Eric the Midget. So and, it and we're not selling it. We're just having fun with it. How are we harming you? How are we harming you? It's not going to allow you to do that. I don't need you your can't. permission. We don't need it. I don't need permission for that. Lord, please make it. I, there's three of us out here. We'll all fuck it. Just we, make it. We have to make it now. <laughs> you need to send me your full measurements. He sent you a picture. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you bring that stuff in, Artie? Yeah, Gary's got it. Oh, good. We'll need that for the real doll. <laughs> Artie brought in the stuff, Eric. So now I can use your pictures to create the real Eric the Midget <laughs> real doll. Boy, can you imagine when we get that thing? Oh. Who are the three guys who want to have sex with it, Gary? Richard. Richard and Sal. Right. Me, Richard, and Sal. We'll all do it. And Gary, wow. too? Wow. You know what? I, I'm not gay, but I would fucking pull a train Sounds on Sounds like it, it sucker. I'd pull a, we'll pull a train on you. Hey, Eric. I'm going to take the real doll, the Eric the Midget real doll, and fly it around with balloons. Yeah. And so finally, you'll sort of be flying with balloons. Yeah, so the SF in your hat stands for so fucked. Can you fuck the doll while it has the balloons on? Sure, you can do whatever you want. Wow. It's a doll. I'll do it with the balloons on. <laughs> hey, what, what do you want to say, Richard? I can't wait to like take the little claw hand on the Eric the Midget real doll and wrap it around my cock. You're going to let Eric give you a hand? Yeah, mm. that's how it's going to start. That's the <laughs> foreplay. He can't do the, that hand, though, this guy, can he? I just want Eric sitting here every day. Yeah, not talking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, not talking, just getting fucked. <laughs> Isn't Eric flattered, though, that we want to fuck a real doll of him? Of course he is. No, you fucking hick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'd be honored, Eric. Well, because it's because you're gay. <laughs> Here's what Jimmy wrote me. I'll read it to you exactly. Right. <laughs> please, please have them make an Eric the Midget real doll. They're small. Maybe they'll even throw it in for free. Please. Uh -oh. Then you mean I, they'll give us the woman and then throw Eric in? Yeah, they'll yeah. just use the leftover rubber from the Ronnie doll <laughs> to make Eric. You know, Actually, the shit they leave over from Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ronnie, with Ronnie and Eric, you could probably still have enough for, you know, Ronnie's not that big either. No. <laughs> There's got to be something left over. Eric, admit on some level you're curious to see what it looks like. No. It's the same as like when these celebrities get the wax museum to make right. a... Madame Tussaud. Madame Tussaud's wax museum. I, I, I can't imagine you're not flattered on some level. I, 
I'm not. This is no. an honor. We don't do this for anyone. We got one shot at a free real doll. Oh, well, you it on someone else. Let me check with um, Dominic to make sure Eric can't sue us over yeah. it. Okay, hold on. Dominic, hi. Absolutely no lawsuit. It's right. fast satire. If you made a million of them and sold them publicly, that would be different. But you can do anything you want. It's like my trying to sue all these things on YouTube. I can't do anything. Right. What, uh, Eric, what hair color do you want us to use? Would you send us your hair color, that the exact hair color you use? I won't send you shit. <laughs> well, we already have his penis measurement. He said he's five inches, so oh, we have that. Oh, so we that. can make that perfect. Well, yeah. It's going to have a cock? <laughs> yeah. So of course gonna, it's going to have a cock. Are you going to blow it? <laughs> are you no, gonna blow, Eric? I'm not going to do anything gay. You wouldn't gay. blow, Eric. You're not no. going to put it in your ass? No. I'm You're gonna fucking a gun? Oh, what on. do you mean? I'm going to fuck it, but if I blow it, that's gay. <laughs> well... You're going to fuck Eric in the ass. Yeah. Wow. I bet, he, I bet yeah. it'll be tight. Welcome to Kansas and, Logic. <laughs> and that's not gay. <laughs> no. No, he's the man. I'm the man. You're, you're the you're, woman. You're, right. You'll be gay in or you're real doll. In certain cultures, that's considered macho. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rite of passage. Cu and Cubans in particular. Exactly. Men can fuck other men. So, Dominic, in other words, I can't mass market these and sell them. That's no. that's no. Eric's thing. Well, and Eric, you, you know wait. what? You might end up with a big business out of this. But you could. Could um, take a uh, like a chihuahua and have it have sex with Eric. That Ooh. would be legal. Yeah. Anything you want to satire the body. Wow. Wow. What, what about the? Uh, would Eric have a case if uh, it gets amazingly popular and we have to charge extra ad dollars in a segment where we're fucking the real doll? <laughs> no, that's, I think that's even legal. Also, by the way. I, I have a question for Dominic. What if we took an actual chihuahua, put an put an Eric the Midget mask on it, and fuck the chihuahua? Legal. Illegal? No. Nope. Well, we're Legal. fucking satire. satire. Oh, good. That's right, thank satire? you, Dominic. You can fuck a dog? Right, thank you, Dominic. That's like satire. <laughs> thank you very much. There are satirical rules. As long as it's wearing uh, an Eric the Midget mask. <laughs> hey, Dorian, you're on the air in Washington, D.C. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey. Man, that, this, this whole, this whole uh, real doll concept is the funniest freaking concept <laughs> ever, man. It's so daggone funny. Man, hey, I'm going to ask. If you, if you make the Eric the Midget real doll, can the can fans come in and fuck him? Sure. Oh, Ooh. absolutely. Man. You have to be Line tested. Up. You are going to get so much action, Eric. <laughs> We should have like a big, <laughs> we should have a big event like a giant stadium where fans get An to Eric fuck the oh, midget oh, gang bang. Oh, yeah. oh, that's, that's gross. An Eric gang bang at the stadium. <laughs> Eric, this People is starting cockying his little feet. <laughs> Eric, this is starting to take on a movement of its own. You could you could even throw in like the remember when uh, remember when Scott, uh, Scott the engineer was gonna get fucked in the ass and oh. you like cover mm. it with a sheet and just show a face or something like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what about getting a big black guy in there like that? What was the guy's name we were going to get for Scott? Lexington Steel. <laughs> Lexington Steel's not gay, though. <laughs> but he's now it's Eric. It wouldn't be. The right, that's true. <laughs> All right, thank you. Well, Eric, uh, maybe if you're lucky, and I do say lucky because it would bring you a lot of attention, I might make the real doll into you. Thinking about it. That gets Don't my vote. even do it. Oh, we got to do it <laughs> just I'm because he says that. Do it. Think about the millions of fans and you've been chosen. Yeah, out of everyone. Yeah, it could have been High Pitch Eric. It's an honor. So well, High you. Pitch is gay, so it would work. He just fucking came on a whore's ass. Uh, Eric, really, what is your objection to it? I don't understand you. It's not you being gay. It's just the real it's doll, a doll replica of you. I don't really understand your problem with it. I just think you're overreacting. No, I'm not overreacting. All right, articulate to me why you don't want this. Because it's stupid. It's not something that I ever want to see done. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to watch it. That's true. But how could he not? He'll watch it. <laughs> but I think there's far more people that want it. Then don't Let me see it. if anybody else Can wants you imagine it. on Howard TV, there'll be a whole section just of people having sex with Eric? <laughs> we could have N Nick Manning come in and fuck it. Oh. Dropping loads all over Eric the Midget. Ah. Dropping loads all over that little midget ass. <laughs> Alex, you're on the air in Queens. Howard. Hi. I was going to suggest Oprah or Imus, but you've got to make it Eric. <laughs> you've got to make it Eric. <laughs> the fans like it, Eric. 
and release those two sexual deviants, fucking Sal and Richard, on them. Let Do them you th- go to town on them. So you like? I've read in the emails a lot of people were saying I'm but you like the Eric the Midget real doll better. Yeah. I see. By popular demand, oh, Eric. Please. I think that's the mandate. I was going for Oprah, but it's got to be uh, uh, Eric the uh, uh, Midget. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking loser. Get the fuck off the phone. Wow. Suck it, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Eric will be doing a lot of that. Thank you, Alex. Suck it, Eric. <laughs> Would you like me to squeal like a pig? <laughs> Plus, maybe they can use some cool technology like a Chia Pet where the goatee on the Eric doll can grow. Like, like we have to shave like Eric? His. Yeah. I don't think they can do that. We'll get a $200,000 real doll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the big question. If there is an Eric the Midget real doll in the studio, Robin, would you do anything with it? Would you I, at least? I'm not doing anything. Would you with pose any real holding doll. his penis? I would pose holding his penis. Yeah, right. I would, mm. hold, I would if, do that. Would you, with your clothes on, would you put a strap on on and have sex? With oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine that. Would sick. you consider that? <laughs> that is Eric, beautiful. would you like that? <laughs> Eric, that ain't gay, at least. <laughs> You could, you know. It would be heterosexual sex for a change. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Shut up, you stupid tackling bitch. Now I have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Eric, well, you, you don't know much about psychology, do you? You should have just said it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> what, um, where are these folks? Do you want me to open this package you uh, sent for me, Eric? Yeah, let's see what's yes, so important. Yes, there. please. All right. Uh, Gary, can you bring me the package, please? What Eric is so important. Eric gave package. Artie a package when Artie was in San Francisco doing his stand-up, and uh, it took Artie about four days to locate it. <laughs> but uh, where'd you find it, Artie? Actually, he did a smart thing. It was in like a FedEx envelope type thing, so it was I that see. size. It fit into my overnight bag, and I took it out when I got home, and it was underneath all the pizza and shit. I had to find it. <laughs> Gary, what is it in this envelope? Okay, there's really two things in here. The first thing is everyone that's in here right now got an autographed picture from Eric, and everyone got a personalized greeting. Like, for instance, mine says, you know, Dear Gary, um, you'll need a lifetime, to, lifetime supply of toothpaste and orbits. Oh. And, like, Robin, something about meat and vegetables, but everyone got their own picture. Uh, Eric, oh, how cute. Be honest with me. Did you come up with these things that you wrote on the picture, or did the people help you with it? Oh, I came up with it. It's your own original idea. Yes. All right, let me see these pictures of Eric. These are the 8 by 10s Yes. Wow. Well, that is a handsome picture of you. I'd love to see the ones he turned down. This would be good to give to the guy from The Real Doc because he's going to need a picture of Eric if he's going to really make this Yeah, thing. we need that exact outfit. Yeah. Now, let's see. To Howard Stern, thank you for the six years of being on your show. I notice you print. You don't write script. Correct. Uh, from actor Eric the Midget Crossed Out Actor. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's that's okay. Also, thank you for letting me promote my store. Uh, and then he writes, first call, 91902. You know what? The way he writes on a picture, it looks like it's graffitied. I like it. I like the picture very much. Suitable for framing. I'm going to frame this, Eric. Mine's already on my wall. Eric, I'm going to frame it. That's Good. It's very nice. Yeah, it's weird, though. It's not Eric. It's saying thank you for something. To well, Fred, if you push that button one more time, I'll smash your fingers. Ack, ack, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> From Eric the Midget Crossed Out Actor. Mm. To Robin, stop your damn cackling, you witch. Jesus. Put a veggie up your pussy and shut up. Ooh, wow. I have to ta- mm-hmm. ta- do the strap-on thing now. You got a sexy one. <laughs> To Artie, haha! This year your Yankees are as bad as my A's. Wow, the Yankees aren't going to the playoffs. From Eric, <laughs> and look at that picture, boy, Eric. I tell you what, was this doctored in any way? This picture, there were no blotches on your face. Well, I have to say that yeah, it was. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, you cleaned but, it up. What did they do? Photoshop it? Yeah, they also changed the microphone so there wouldn't be any problems because it. Before it said serious, so I figured if it's going to be sold so I don't run into any problems, I better change it to, to JFSC.TV. And oh, Eric, you Eric. don't have any problem with the enormous Coca Cola can in front of you? The yeah, biggest like Coke doesn't have any problem with yourself. <laughs> How many pictures are we talking about that you might have to reproduce? Well, so far, I've sold 
somewhere between 200 and 300. And I was going to say, the guy looks very, very uh, handsome in this. I, I had a feeling, Robin, that this was doctored in some way. On your face, they got rid of all the blotches, yeah, right? Yeah, his skin looks beautiful. Yeah. Did they do something with your skin? Yeah, they fixed, um, it was fixed up. Is there anything else I should know? Did they touch up anything else? No. Yeah, and I see your hair is recently dyed in this picture. It looks good. Well, uh... Now, Howard, there was another thing in the package. Yes. And this is, I believe, uh, a wedding gift that Eric oh. had sent to you, and it's inscribed. Ah. It's a book. A book? That was very nice, Eric. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jewish chess masters on stamps. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see. What, what is this? What is this book? Here? I don't know. I just, but he, he, the first page, Howard, is inscribed. They find it. They found it in Eichmann's closet when they. Jewish chess <laughs> man. Howard Stern, <laughs> congratulations on your wedding to Betho. Thank you for the six years of airtime. Uh, JFSC TV. Eric, the midget actor. I hope you like this book. Uh, Jewish chess masters on stamps, and I'm not sure I understand what that means, but. I don't see any stamps. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> stamps are in the book. I, hear this well, I guess it's Jewish. I guess it's exactly what it says, right? Yeah. All right. Very good, Eric. Well, I, I don't know quite what to say. I know Beth's going to love this. <laughs> I'm glad you thought of both of us. Uh, this is very nice of you. Thank you. And uh, whether you see it as an honor or not, I happen to see it as an honor. I might. I'm really considering selecting you as the one person I will make a real doll out of. you got to think, Eric. The real doll stays here all the time. It's always in the studio. It'll always be on camera, and it'll probably boost your business quite a bit. But I don't know for sure. Right. And then if Nick Manning or someone comes in and fools around with oh. you, it'll add to your fame. It means your name was getting mentioned. Yeah. So, you'd be very lucky if I select you. Do you see that at all? No, I don't. I don't see it as an honor at all. Wow. Well, it is an honor, and I'm just informing you of that. Do you really Dropping think I can hang up? all a... over Eric the Midget's wheelchair. <laughs> oh. Midget fuck wet power chair. Do you really think I can hang a picture that says what? Stuff a vegetable in your pussy? Yeah. Oh, I can't hang that. Eric. Hang that in your uh, news booth. <laughs> you can put something over the line, pussy. Put it on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging mine. Yeah, but he said nice things to you. I can't. No. I mean, that's. He calls you a witch and says to put vegetables in your pussy. Yeah, I can't hang that. That's not very nice, Eric. It's disgusting. Well, whenever when is she ever really nice to me? Right. Well, that's not the sentiment of a gift, Excuse though. me? I thought it was nice to you until you got to be so mean. All right. Well, thank you, Eric, and uh, thank you for the gifts, and uh, good luck with your business. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Eric the Midget saying that he does not like the idea of an Eric the Midget real doll, uh, which makes me even want it more. I was going to say, which makes it more intriguing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, I've got to make a final decision eventually. Ask you about Eric the actor or Eric the midget. Yeah. Artie, if we make this, Artie, if we make this real doll that resembles Eric the midget, what will your style be like when banging him? I'm not gonna bang him. Really? No, I don't know. I'm above that. I, uh, <laughs> I have a career outside of this uh, studio. I've been law, going nights for law degree. <laughs> so banging uh, replicas of. Uh, Midgets, it wouldn't, wouldn't. Go I, I, I put it this way I have a future in politics. I'm not going to do that. Let one of the assholes back here do it. I can respect that. No, I wanted to ask you how serious you are about the prospect of uh, strapping on something <laughs> and, like that transition. Well, you know, it almost makes me not want to have an Eric the Midget talk. <laughs> would in you the really studio. do it? Uh, I would have to become a character. Right. And put on the strap on and do my job. And separate yourself from the real rock. <laughs> That's right. It would be my character, not me. I'll be gentle at first because he's a smaller guy. I'd kind of, you know, caress him, rub his blotches a little bit, massage his, uh, his claw, and then, you know, slowly put the claw onto my penis, put it around there, you know, help, it, help the claw move up and down. 
because I don't want to get injured. You know, I don't want the claw to like scratch me or anything. So I'll be real gentle and slow, and we'll slowly work up to a good uh, midget fucking. If we, Benji, if we do pick Eric the midget, what would your style be like while uh, bagging him? First of all, I don't. If I wouldn't bang him as Eric the midget, I would bang him as Eric the actor because I respect him. And I like him. He, I consider him a friend, and I know he prefers Eric the actor. Right. So if I have sex with him, it'll be me having sex with Eric the actor, not Eric the midget. Well, with that being established, your Eric the actor approach. I mean, some people have mentioned running trains. Some people have mentioned strap-ons. What would be your uh, sort of style? I would just do it like a guy, just simple and you know, like to the point, and like that's how, like I think uh, you know, just get in there and do it. Like uh, not a lot of. Pretension. Yeah, just like just a straight old fashioned like uh fucking. Like they used to do. Yeah, like like when men were men. We got uh Eric the Midget from uh he's a whackbacker on the Howard Stern show. What's up Eric? How we doing man? We get him in a little big wheel, like an escalade big wheel, and he's like he's just like rolling down the street. He's like honking the horn. It's got like a little system on the back. Oh, it's like a system back there, man. And then he like pulls up and he ballets it. <laughs> and the guy like gives him a little ticket for it and he's like, thank you. A little ticket. Yeah. <laughs> you think you could like go to the beach in that thing? Just drive your girls out there, watch the sunset with it? And then he just, he just gets in his car and he just rides off down the sunset.